All right, folks, I'm actually about to do something weird. I'm up at Kenneth Han Park, and I've come across a, what is it, the Boy Scout Trail. I've never hiked in this park as long as I've uh, been coming here just to relax and stuff like that, but that's actually about to change, and I'm taking you guys with me. top of Kenneth Han Park there is no microphone on, the, on this thing right now other than what um, the camera provides so here we go on this hike by the way guys I have no clue where this is gonna take me <laughs> I'm actually just curious where this goes Here and can see cars. A little bit further over, just so you guys can see. It has to be La Brea. It's the only street that runs kind of adjacent and parallel on this side. Guys can see it's pretty dry around here. You remember my I was just call it my previous channel that was taken down, which I'll discuss at another date. They uh I had a lot about the California drought on there and in various news and I put that up for a reason and pretty much some of the main reasons uh, I remember reading and actually putting stuff up about how much food California actually provides and I remember and only know some of this because of when I was driving trucks uh, we were taking produce uh, from California to Illinois was a run and all sorts of, of places across the country where Walmart and Dole were picking up their produce, produce from California and having it shipped around the country. And in addition to that, 
I'll put a couple of farmers market things back back up. I still have those. One at Mar Vista and one from Gardena, which are two farmers markets I, I go to. I haven't really been lately, but if you talk to the farmers in some of these farmers markets, you can really find out what's going on with uh, produce and you know things they're having issues with as far as growing stuff and it's a lot of interesting things if you actually talk to people in, in, in person i'm not a real big social media person so you probably won't ever see like a hippie versus jock facebook page or anything like that Honestly, I get a kick out of doing the videos, and if you like them, you'll share them and stuff like that. And if not, you'll go about your business, but I will be putting up a lot of scenic stuff as far as California. Some people may never get to California, and these are places I actually go on a fairly regular basis and just never had a video camera to share, so... I've been holding a video camera, it's not too much different other than maybe editing some of the stuff, adding a little music in, which... If the, uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys know me in person or <laughs> that actually view this, but when I first came out to California, it was actually for filmmaking. So, I'm actually getting a kick out of doing some of this YouTube stuff and playing with my editing software. Although I think it only costs like 40 bucks or something like that. I'm getting a kick out of it. It's a lot different than things as I started out in the, the industry. You know, there was videotape, three quarter inch. And as far as editing film, you actually dealt with editing the film. And there was a separate mag track for the sound. And it's a lot different than what I see now. And for those of you wondering, it's like straight ahead, we're actually staring at La Brea. And the way I'm walking is north yeah usually when you're driving you know there, there's stuff up here but not usually trying to look up here trying to pay attention to the actual road when you're down there it's like I don't know if you're going too fast it's, or it's kind of like blind corners when you're going up La Brea and if and when cars break down and they're off to the side there is no shoulder so that person is in the actual lane so you aren't really trying to pay attention to up here when you're driving California there are already enough stupid people driving around doing everything but what they're supposed to be doing People on their cell phones. People somehow feel the need they need to text while driving. I think I'm probably a little old school when it comes to that stuff. When I'm driving, I'm driving. I don't even use the cell phone when driving right nowadays. I used to, but I think once I started driving trucks and seeing all the crazy accidents were out, that were happening out there. That were really stupid stuff. I just stopped using my cell phone altogether. Alright, so I got a few different choices. That way, which I'm not sure, they have a little makeshift bench that looks like somebody tore up. We have down this way, which looks like the clearest of them. got another bench that's over there. Hmm. 
What should I do? That just doesn't look like I want to go that way. It's just a lot of brush. This looks like where the majority of the people go, so this is the way I'm headed. Another choice. That way or this way. Mm. There's a lady with a dog headed that way, so I'm just gonna go the opposite way. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm following them. I don't want to be staring at somebody's butt on YouTube. They somehow managed to take me off because I got video of somebody's butt. My video. Wait. Well, you get people like vegan games that somehow magically can get on to play the game of jerking off to Dayla Lynn Bailey on his videos. And I don't think he's got anything taken down. You get a brother like me trying to put a little information up. And somehow magically my channel gets taken down. Go figure. Alright. See a guy working on the holes right there. I'm assuming they're electric poles. Right now, two of the lanes of uh, La Brea southbound are actually blocked. They're taking up two lanes. This is burped and it smells like protein drink. Which isn't bad. I actually had chocolate. I'm using my regular protein again, but I've actually turned it into a blend. So I guess I'll end up doing a review on my normal protein. I actually have a review I'm probably going to try and finish today as far as my review of it or opinion. I'll stick it up within the next few days. So, so I think I was almost finished with, with the bottom. The tub or whatever they call these things nowadays. Protein used to come in tubs. I remember getting like 25 pound tubs of protein. And now, I don't really see them really big anymore. They usually come 10 pounds most and even back in some of my other videos with the California drought, I, I did one where I was talking about whey. The price of whey was going to go up due to the California drought. And sure enough, a lot of people may not realize this, but they're actually moving the what normally would be five pound tubs of whey. Or bags of whey and they're moving down to four pounds I've been noticing that as I go to you know the health food store and look online at some of these various things so when you look at inflation it's not always the way you think where the price goes up sometimes the actual size goes down and the price still stays the same The price of whey 
is actually going up on a per pound basis this doesn't look that way because they still keep it in what looks like a five pound thing all right kind of at another trail that goes up and this continues off on the side we just keep on kind of following down here with the La Brea way hit it Get it southbound. Let's see where it takes me. I have an idea of where I might be able to go from here, but it's just because at the bottom there's like a staircase I usually get stopped at, sometimes at a light up here on La Brea. walk is a little bit more interesting than it should be for me just because I just had a leg day the other day and the delayed onset muscle soreness is there a little bit so it doesn't make too much of a difference I used to do my workouts like some of what you guys have seen and then go play basketball but usually I can get away with like lifting weights without any knee issues but something about basketball kills me now and I want to say it's the constant like shock to the knees once i get under a weight even if it has a if it's a little heavy you know once that pressure is applied to the knee it pretty much stays on the knee joint it's just a matter of the muscle moving moving helping to move the weight if i'm out playing basketball running and jumping the pressure is on and off the knee with constant shocks so it's a little bit different when playing basketball. As far as my knee joints are concerned. Now, it's probably more than a few reasons I have issues with with my knees and I didn't find out one of them until uh, my friend who I call my little brother although he's taller than I am but he was a little squirt when I first met him he uh he's taller than me but he wears the same size shoe as me which is 14 and I think we were, went, went out one day and he didn't bring any basketball shoes we went to the trunk had a couple of pair of shoes so we could play I gave him a pair of mine and he put them on and he told me, he was like, man, you don't have any arch. And I'm like, what? I actually have low arches in my feet and confirmed this like a few different ways. Chiropractor. Uh, if you hop on the Dr. Scholl's foot pads. I don't know. They have, I know they have one in Walmart. And I was just curious about like a foot pressure machine for like custom insoles I actually hopped on there and got like a, a custom reading and it said I had low arches too so pretty much that's like three confirmed okay you have low arches and from what I read it could actually be a problem with me on, on my knees so that could be one reason for my knees being screwed up. I know it's the inflammation is like patella tendonitis and it, I can actually control it somewhat through my diet. If I move on to 
putting more like raw foods in my diet it's really easy or when I was actually an actual raw food vegan for uh, for a while I didn't have any knee issues but I didn't weigh anything either so I don't know if the weight had something to do with it if it was all diet or a combination of both which is probably what the case is to an extent all right as you guys can see i'm actually climbing up i'm not sure how well i'm doing it holding this camera but it's kind of awkward holding the camera while walking <laughs> See if I'm gonna come out over by these st stairs. I'm thinking of. Okay. All right. I'm gonna back up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't see through here real well, but there's a light over there. There should be some stairs coming up somewhere. Or maybe it's just a trail that goes up. Kenneth Hahn State Recreational Park and I apologize for the idiots that decided to spray paint on there but I'm sure we all have the idiots that like to spray paint on stuff there on there. And there we go. Here are the stairs I was talking about with the lightning. It's actually called where is it? Don Liz Don Lorenzo Drive. And there are the stairs. So, let me just walk straight up now. By the way, if you guys ever decide to come to Kenneth Hahn Park for yourself, it's actually free on the Monday through Friday. And I think it's sunrise to sunset are the open and close times. If you decide to come Saturday and Sunday, there's actually a fee. Uh, I'm not sure what it is because I usually come here on the weekdays to relax and write. I don't know, clear thinking. Some cell phone signals don't make it up here. Which is a good thing for me, I don't really care. If you watch my video, which I haven't put back up yet, how to have a date. <laughs> there is no cell phone on my date. <laughs> the end of it, you hear her asking about <laughs> whether I got back to one of the kids. <laughs> And that was at the end of the date. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yeah, something that's actually in Kenneth Han Park and there's a park across the way from La Brea that also has too, has stuff too where they actually have fitness equipment. So those of you who might not have money to maybe join a Planet Fitness or something like that. You don't really have to. There are actually ways to exercise without without equipment. It's just that you'll be dealing with the outside elements. And if you watch my what is it? My motivation video where I'm at Venice working my legs. I've never really worked out outside until Venice. And it was hot that day. <laughs> that, that was a hard workout. <laughs> I really didn't like go heavy or, 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 or stay up anywhere long, but the workout was hard. I think by the time I finished that, I did that workout in like it was maybe 21, 22 minutes, somewhere around there. Uh, it's probably about 10 minutes worth of, of, of footage on there maybe 10 11 minutes something like that and i was hot i was actually exhausted and you know sooner or later you i'm gonna get some footage of me heading up to metroflex from my understanding listening to some of the guys videos it's hot in there and they don't have no ac so <laughs> It should be interesting. I don't have any timeline or time frame when I when I go, but sooner or later I will head that way. Uh, again, here's another. And this looks like a shoulder press, uh, but this body weight, where you sit on it and press up, and this looks like it could work like the sides of your abs or maybe your obliques to an extent like moving back and forth on it but I'm not sure I've, I've never used this stuff but I have a what the heck okay sit up okay I see the thing for sit up right press. I don't know, they say one of these things is a, a leg. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I guess the thing is could be used as like a leg press too, but I don't know. Not over here. They, they have leg press there, but none of those things replicate a leg press. Let's see a pull up too, and no pull up thing is there. Lat pull down. The thing we're looking at, yeah, that could be a lat pull down. Yeah, I would say what we were standing at was a lap pull down and not a shoulder press. Again, I've never used this stuff here. I've just seen it over at other parks. So let's I'll continue my walk. This is the first water fountain we've run into since I've been here. Does it actually work? Yep, working water fountains. I'm not sure if I was pointed at the water fountain. close to 30 minutes this might be the first video that I take the time to compress that I put up on YouTube I put video up on Facebook before it was large enough although it wasn't real long where I had to compress the video Actually, I end up over there before. I've never hiked before, but maybe one day I'll take the trail on bike or something and show you guys. When they say playa, they have to mean playa vista. 
I'm actually over there a fair amount too. Playa Vista, Marina Del Rey, uh, Inglewood. <sighs> See about getting back to the to the car now. I shouldn't be too far from it. make this I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this video because this is gonna be <laughs> long this is I think we're pushing on 30 minutes right now getting real close the only way to really show the video and actually me and my talking is to load the whole thing and just compress it or I can try to find the parts where I talk, <laughs> speed it up at various places, and do it that way. So, I don't know. I guess I'll figure that out as I, I go. Try to make it somewhat interesting. Those of you that are tuning in to find out what this little Canon Vixia HFR 600 can do you might want something different but I'm only gonna put one video up <laughs> so let's see what I end up doing to it see, this is Fairly green this way. And there's. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. I'm hoping you can. Downtown Los Angeles is actually in between those two trees. And it's actually fairly smoggy, so hopefully you can see some highlight of the building. I can see it, but it's kind of hard to see it in the, in the camera. If I brightened it up, I'll probably be able to see it a little bit better, but. I usually don't make my screens as bright as I can or on my cell phone or my computer. Part of it is to save battery life. How's it going? And I guess somewhat eye strain, but a lot of it's just battery and I know my monitors will last a lot longer if I don't make it as bright as it possibly can go and keep it on that low end. If I'm watching a movie or something on my computer, I'll make it brighter. But other than that, I'm typing general stuff or I'm editing sometimes, depending on the actual footage I'm using, I might brighten stuff up too. Okay, I know I remember seeing this water tower. At least those radio and cell phone antennas. I'm not too far from the car. Okay, now this might be a slightly better view of downtown Los Angeles. here you see the grass is somewhat green up here Yeah, I gotta change one of my video titles. I think I have a video, it's a title called like Chinese Garden or something like that. 
just found out it's not a Chinese garden, it's a Japanese garden. <laughs> Somebody changed the title of it. Thought that was interesting. see a little bit further here are actually cars where I am parked so I'll just go ahead and end this video hopefully you guys got a kick out of it if you can't make it to California or decide to come to Kenneth Han Park and didn't know what to expect but some of one of the trails here. There are lots of trails here. Uh, maybe one day I'll take you guys on the walk of another one of them. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good day.